Welcome to River Network's webinar short, 10 Signs of Fundraising Readiness. My name is Caroline Bott, and I'm part of River Network's leadership development team. Through these mini webinars, we hope to provide River and Watershed Group's best practice tips on organizational development and capacity building skills. So let's dive right in. The first step to building a successful fundraising program is to assess your readiness. As we go through these 10 readiness signs, see how many you can check off for your organization. Number 10, your mission statement is your organization's reason for existing. It's the consistent message that you, your board members, staff, and volunteers use to gather public support and attract funds. It differentiates your group from other organizations in the community and is the source from which all of your plans, strategies, policies, and outcomes should flow. Number nine, your case for support or case statement tells donors who your organization is, what you've accomplished, and outlines your vision for the future. It tells why they should care and offers them a chance to invest in your organization. Number eight, your annual work plan outlines your staff's programmatic goals and objectives and is an important component of your annual fundraising plan development. Number seven, in addition to showing your estimated income and expenses, your budget should include your fundraising revenue and costs. Your fundraising plan will flow from your annual work plan and budget. Number six, a development committee or work group can be a tremendous asset to your fundraising planning and implementation process and can be essential when trying to engage your full board in fundraising activities. Number five, you should have fundraising policies and procedures in place before you ask for donations. These may include a board member agreement, gift acceptance policy, and gift processing and acknowledgement procedures. Number four, if your organization raises more than $25,000, you're required to register in the states where you fundraise and to report this information on your IRS 990 form. Number three, accurate record keeping is essential to any successful fundraising program. At a minimum, you need to have a system in place for keeping track of who made a contribution, their gift amount, and their contact and related gift acknowledgement information. Number two, fundraising is a team sport. In order to be successful, you'll need the support and direct involvement of your board, staff, and even volunteers. Who's on your team and who do you need to recruit? And the number one sign of fundraising readiness is the development of an annual written fundraising plan. Your plan gets staff, volunteers, and board members on the same page. It gives your team a clear idea of roles and responsibilities and anticipated results. As you think about your organization, how many of these readiness signs can you check off? River Network's leadership development team is able to provide assistance in helping you develop and implement your fundraising program, as well as provide consulting on a broad range of organizational development and capacity building needs. For more information, visit our website.